part in the mess. Everything's a little bit work in progress still. I have here a, uh, if it'll focus, CompuServe Systems Concept SC40 PDP-10 clone. Uh, so far, I've only gotten to test the fans. What I will do now... That's just the fans, that isn't the rest of the system. Don't sound too bad. <laughs> I've heard worse. I have two of them sitting here, actually. So I'll give you uh, what I've just got. Uh, I wish I could turn the flash on, hold on. Okay, now you'll actually be able to see what I'm talking about. As you can see, it's uh, quite a bit smaller than your original uh, PDP-10, KL-10. Uh, direct AC driven fans. Boards that can be removed. Uh, this particular one would be the uh, supervisor or uh, Mars service processor, I believe the original owner called them. Haven't yet identified all the chips. If you identify them, let me know. This one isn't staying here. Uh, it's going to a friend of mine. But this is the one that I have, as you can see, not in a rack. Sorry for any uh, lack of professionalism. Well, you can see the back flame connector back there. It'll focus. Yep. Sorry about using the camera for a flashlight. Uh, basement doesn't have the world's greatest lighting. Oops. And now it doesn't want to go back in the slot. That's why I hate these little slot based back planes with such thin boards. Okay, got it in. Uh, card's flexing, so let's line the uh, things up right. Card's flexing, that's probably not going in right. Let's see what's wrong. No, that's lined up correctly. It was just odd that the board was flexing. There we go. Oh, uh, that's why. That's not good. Little guide clips are misbehaving. There we go, that's better. Ah. It actually has room for memory expansion. Uh, this is the main processor board, which I'll take out in a second. off the piece of junk table. That is your PDP-10 processor board. So links, uh, I'm not sure if that's CPOD or FPGA. More like the FPGA heatsink. Not removing that, sorry. Uh, some modules were, I don't know what they do. I'm going to go with some sort of cache, probably. Uh, it could be flash, but based on the arrangement uh, of chips, I want to go with cash. But yeah, a heatsink for PDP-10. Astounding. Next, you have the memory boards. Oh, what's interesting about this processor board is it says loner on it, as in L-O-A-N-E-R. I wonder what it's loan. I wonder who it was loaned to. Whatever. Uh, it's not on my copy serve anymore. This is just a plain memory card. The third board in the back plane. 
It's actually expandable. I think this is either 16 mega words or 32. I'm not sure exactly. I think this one is XHH. If you happen to know your CompuServe notes, you can tell me in the comments. Let's see, which card is this? Does it say? Nope, but it's more Xilinx chips. Could very well, this could be anything from SCSI to Ethernet. Largely unpopulated board. <laughs> All single sided. Probably multiple layer? I'm not sure. Very thin. That's a lot of Xilinx parts. A lot on FPGAs. Or uh, CPLD. I'm not entirely sure which. Be either. And let's see, is there, are these other two boards identical? No. Wow. Um, I have no idea what this board is, but also not Xilinx for once. Although there is still Xilinx on here. And this, which is looking for chips I can immediately identify. Of course, that doesn't want to focus. Yep. Oh, that's an NEC chip. Yep, know what that part number is, let me know. Let's see if there's two of them. Could be Ethernet? Could be Ethernet? Uh, might be FDDI, although I see plain uh, copper ethanol on the other side. And this next board is not identical. Which this one could be SCSI. This phone does not want to focus. Now that looks like Motorola. Now I want to show us what you do. Six eight eight four. That is another Motorola chip. Wow! I got to get a new camera. Yeah, that's a bunch of Motorola chips. There's a lot of SCSI buses. Here we all just brought it on the back plane. I'm connected to the distribution panel of the bare back plane. Black, the bare back plane contacts on the back, which I will show now. Let me get a power distribution unit off of a chair so I can sit and actually guide through this. Okay, this is as far as I've surmised. Um, oh, good, good, they're not mislabeled on this thing. Um, oh, they are. Sorry, I just can't see them with the flash. SS is, as far as I can tell, the system SCSI controller. T0, T1, pretty sure that's terminals, TS, PC, uh, I have no idea. Plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, uh, plus 5, 12, and something else. As far as I can gather, these are Ethernet adapters. As you can see here, it just seems to be playing in Ethernet. Uh, the 
where's S0? Yeah, S0 and uh, the rest or our, uh, would be SCSI buses for the disc chains. which have a very neat selector mechanism I'm quite fond of. I'm gonna put this back to zero. A whole three gigabytes. And here's the inside of one of them. Completely empty, sadly. Sorry for those that one comp you serve mailing uh, mailing list data and likes. Bunch of power supplies, fans, SCSI with terminators. Here you can see the selectors that are that appear to go to nothing. Oh, no, I'm, uh, wait, how do those work? They're not connected to anything. Okay, then, um, that's odd. This goes to the lights and unit select and ready lights. I bet there's a little microcontroller on there of some sort. Uh, I might pull that out one day and update it in a later video. And there's just, uh... Are they, uh, that's a nicely designed power distribution system, but not what I would have done. It seems that in the racks they were still using digital power distribution units. Uh, they just still out the stock, uh, stock 15, uh, 15 amp circuit. Let's see, uh, here, I just got this here today, so I haven't had time to clean up. Or time to get a camera that focuses, or even get this in the right orientation. But, digital as you can see, the nice upside down digital logo. Oh, and I have a ton of these! Each one appears to be 15 port terminal, uh, breakouts. Uh, connected to, I think, some sort of SCSI. Don't have the cable for that, so... I have no idea if this is supposed to connect to a SCSI terminal server. Of which I have. Uh, actually, I have a terminal server that isn't SCSI right there. 96 ports. And here's one so I've got the cover taken off of it. So I'm going to put it on so I can follow my foot and cut it. Let me go on now. Gravity? Yes, looks like they just held on the gravity. Uh, I'm putting on. This sharp metal though. Uh, what else do I have? That's nothing related. I also have some spare parts. Power supplies are just all exposed. For maximum safety. SCSI chain. Oh, this is the distribution panel for all different SCSI buses. Zero through Five and the one unlabeled. JH uh, XX okay. Um, I have no idea what that is set for, but that goes to but that connects to this panel goes to a SCSI. Uh, not SCSI. Uh, yeah, SCSI cable. It attaches here where it says SS. I'm not sure what the proper orientation that will be, but time will tell. Here's some of the spares I was lucky enough to get more adapters for the terminal servers and oh good black box I hate black box uh, yeah more spare power supplies more of these black box adapters that as far as I can tell are just port multiplexers I don't even put multiplexers I have no idea what the controller for these would have been. I didn't necessarily get, I didn't exactly get the controllers. 
did, however, get a lot of these cables, which I don't know what they go to. But I have a lot of them. A lot. This, I think, went to one of their, uh, what were they called, micronodes? No idea. I didn't get one of the micronodes. Yeah, you can see the massive rat's nest of SCSI cables. And the distribution panel. Three wires for, for uh, cereal. I'm pretty sure that was modified at one point. Because it probably had more. Which, if I'm right, that means you wouldn't get full modem control. What a shame. Your console can't have full modem control. Anyway, imaging of the drives is in the works. Once I get some of those safety rate SCSI. As you saw, I've tested the fans. Those seem to be operational. Don't have a tape drive for these, but it appears to just be SCSI. Uh, haven't the faintest idea how to do a Mongen. Although it appears to be kind of tops 10. But how not tops 10, I don't know because... It might have derived from TOPS 10 before it was even called TOPS 10. So it would have just been monitor at the time. I have a lot of these. In varying types. Varying angles. Some of these are just weird. Honestly, does anyone need any of these? I have uh, more than I could ever need. I also have a bunch more SCSI cables, but you don't want to show, see all that. It's just SCSI cables. You know what those are. And there's some of these cables are just going to not, with such short connectors on the other end. I rather like these power supplies. Shame. Uh, Game. I have the older version of the SC40 chassis, so I can't use these. These have a cool design to them. I wonder who designed these. Uh, does it say? Probably CompuServe themselves. Maybe. Don't know what their engineering department was like. But it's rather cool. Now these for spares, but unfortunately they aren't useful for my situation. Oops. I have the I have the older model ones not quite the, like the ones that uh, the Computer History Museum and uh, our no the Living Computer Museum got. Kind of a shame though because these are really nice modular supplies but this one you get to have to guess on every single pin. Well if you can't see. Which I suppose, uh, most people watching this probably can, and I just can't. Here's a bad I say. But, uh, let's see what else is interesting to say about these. I showed the boards, showed a basic chip overlay. I irritated you with my bad cinematography, and my ranting about needing to buy a better camera. I've shown enough of my racks. Uh, I have a little bit of equipment, to say the least, and everything's a mess because of being in the middle of cleaning. And the best part is it all just powered off of a rather normal uh, USAC cords. If needed, although it's silicon, so this won't help much, the very act that I still need to wire up. Get to that one day. Oh well, fans work! Hope you enjoyed.